Once upon a time, there was a house in the middle of a forest. In that house lived three bears. Daddy Bear, who was big in size. Mama Bear, who was not very small either. And a little baby bear. Mama Bear was a great cook. Papa Bear and Baby Bear loved the food she made. One fine morning, Mama Bear cooked some nice smelling porridge for breakfast. But since the porridge was too hot to eat, the bears decided to go out for a morning walk while the porridge cooled on the table. Meanwhile, just outside the forest was a girl named Goldilocks. She was very pretty. The curly golden locks of her hair swayed in front of her forehead, which was why she was called Goldilocks. Although Goldilocks was so pretty, she was very naughty. Despite her mother's warning never to go to the forest near her house, she wanted to go there. And that was what she did. She entered the forest. Goldilocks went deeper and deeper inside the forest, looking around at the tall trees and beautiful flowers. There were little rabbits and funny-looking monkeys, and also the lovely birds she had never seen before. But when she was tired and turned to go back home, all she saw were trees, trees and more trees. She could not remember the way back. She looked hard, but it was of no use. She was lost. No matter how much she wandered through the forest, she did not find the way back to home. Goldilocks climbed up a tree and looked in all directions, but she could not see her home. Then she climbed up a large rock and looked everywhere, but she still could not see her home. She sat down and thought, I am lost. What must I do? <laughs> Finally, she decided to keep walking till she got out of the forest and then asked the first person she met where her home was. And there she was walking again. After roaming through the forest for a long time, Goldilocks suddenly came before the house of the three bears. Goldilocks thought the inhabitants of that house will give her some food, let her rest and then show her the way back to her home. So Goldilocks went to the house and knocked at the door. But she found that it wasn't locked. So she entered the house. As soon as she entered, she smelled a nice smell in the air. It was certainly the smell of delicious food. Mm, it smells so nice and I'm so hungry. Goldilocks took a spoonful from the big bowl and tasted it. Oh, it's so salty. 
Then she ate some from the little smaller bowl. Ew! This is too sweet. So she tried some from the smallest bowl, and voila, she loved it. This is delicious. Goldilocks ate the porridge from the smallest bowl till the bowl was empty. Goldilocks went to the next room. There were three chairs placed around a crackling fire. First, she sat on the big chair. This chair is too big. Then she sat on the little smaller chair. No, this chair is not very small either. Finally, she sat on the smallest chair. This chair is perfect. But guess what? The chair suddenly broke, and Goldilocks oh. fell down on the floor, making a big noise. Goldilocks got up and looked at the broken chair. How can I sit on this chair now? It is broken. So Goldilocks went to the next room. Looking for something more comfortable where she could rest, and there she saw three cozy beds. Oh, how I would love to take a nap on one of these! Goldilocks climbed onto the big bed. Mm -hmm. This bed is too hard. She then tried the smaller bed. Then she climbed up on the smallest bed, and tell you what, she loved it. She liked it so much that even before she said anything, she was fast asleep. That was when the bear family returned home. I want to eat my porridge and then sit on the chair by the fire, said the baby bear. So, so do, do we, said Daddy Bear and Mama Bear. But when they looked at the open door of their house, Daddy Bear said, "Someone has been inside the house." The first thing they did was to see if their porridge was all right. "Oh no, somebody has been eating my porridge," said Daddy Bear. "Somebody has been eating my porridge too," said Mama Bear. Somebody has been eating my porridge too. I see, it is all gone," said the baby bear. The three bears then went to the next room. Somebody has been sitting on my chair," said Daddy Bear. Somebody has been sitting on my chair too," said Mama Bear. Somebody has been sitting on my chair too. I see, now it's broken," said Baby Bear. The three bears then went into the next room. Somebody has been sleeping on my bed," said Daddy Bear. "Somebody has been sleeping on my bed too," said Mama Bear. "Somebody has been sleeping on my bed too, and see, she is still there," said Baby Bear. All that noise woke up Goldilocks. And she saw the three bears who were standing around her bed and looking at her. That was that. Goldilocks jumped out of the bed and ran out of the house. She ran so hard that soon she was out of the forest. And what a wonderful thing! She could now see her house. After that day. Goldilocks always listened to her mother and never wandered into the forest again. But even today, before she goes to sleep, Goldilocks remembers the three bears and thinks, if the three bears got lost outside the forest and came to my home some day, I will ask mom. To make for them delicious porridge and let them sleep on my bed.